Hey everybody, you know what time it is. It's lunch time with the Habit Master. I'm your host, Dr. Stephanie Aldrich, and I help people change their bad habits. When you change your habits, you change your life. Today we are gonna talk about attitude. But before I forget, grab yourself a free copy of my book. It's called The Habit Formula Life Success Equation. Go to the back of each chapter and make sure you fill things out. And what it's going to do is help lead you into creating better habits and changing anything that you want to change in your life. It really is easier than you think. So, hey Nancy, how are you? So anyway, today we're talking about attitude. What attitude is, is it's a settled way of thinking or feeling about someone or something. It's reflected in your behavior. So, you know, being in the service industry myself, this is attitude towards not only your dentist, right? Everybody hates going to the dentist, but the doctor, the chiropractor, anybody in the health service, right? Hi, Nancy. There you go. and anybody in a service industry, so your roofer, for instance, or a contractor, or maybe the real estate agent, or the waiter or waitress that's helping you, you know, uh, get your get your meal, right? Um, you know, what is your attitude towards them, right? Now, specifically today, we're going to talk about in the dentist chair, okay? Because I deal with a lot of people from all walks of life. Some people are great, some people not so great to work on or work with. And what I want to do today is kind of open up your mind and thinking from our point of view, from the point of view of customer service and trying to do as good of a job as we can, right? So five ways to change your lousy attitude if you have one towards someone in the service industry and especially in my field, right? Because today's Tuesday, so I like to talk about things that uh, happen in the dental office, okay? And I've been having a great day, but at some point somebody's going to tick me off because of their lousy attitude. So these are five ways that everybody can work on their attitude towards somebody else in the service industry. Number one, know in advance that it could hurt. Okay, you're coming, we're, we're doing surgery, even though it's on a, a little tooth or your gum or something like that. Just know, sorry about that, just know that uh, it can hurt. It, it, you know, we try to numb you, we try to, you know, do as much as we can, but just know in advance, it's going to be a little uncomfortable. But obviously, we're trying to get it done as, as fast as we can. We're trying to totally get you numb, but sometimes the numbing agent doesn't work. Sometimes, you know, you feel it or, or whatever. Have a good attitude about it. Stuff happens, right? We're trying to do the best we can. And we're working on the human body. It's not like we're just, you know, a mechanic working on a car that you could put pieces together. You know, you got to deal with uh, people healing and blood and saliva and, you know, all the stuff that our body produces. We have to deal with that. So go into it knowing and just expecting that, you know what, this isn't going to be the best part of my day, but I am going to go with a great attitude towards it and knowing that my dentist or doctor or or waiter or whatever is going to take care of me. I'm going to have an awesome experience because I'm putting it in my head, changing my attitude a little bit that I know that I have a little expectation that it might be uncomfortable for a little bit, might be a little ouchy, a little pinchy, something like that, but that they're not trying to hurt me. Number two, know in your heart that all we're trying to do is help you. Okay, we're not trying to just gouge you for money. We're not trying to, you know, hurt you on purpose. We're trying to get the job done, get in fast and get out fast. Okay, if you know going into it that that's what it's going to be and that we're not here to intentionally try to do something bad to you, then your attitude towards us will start changing, right? You're going to you're not going to have expectations that oh all they want to do is is get my money and blah, 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 and hurt me and blah, 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 blah. no you're going to go into it saying they want to do their best they've been trained and have certain skill sets that i don't possess or else i do it myself right 
they have certain skill sets that are going to help me feel better. They're gonna help me look better, right? Especially with your smile. You gotta be able to chew, but you also have to look good too, so that you can smile and, and hang out with your kids and grandkids, especially with Thanksgiving coming up. It's a chewing holiday, right? It's an eating holiday. So you gotta make sure you function well, but also look good for all the pictures, right? Number three, remember, we're human too, and we have feelings too. So don't come at us and be yelling at us for something that is out of our control or, you know, because, you know, something's going on. Uh, you had to wait for the cable guy who never showed up and now you're in a ticked off mood because you have no cable or, you know, something at the house, something happened and now you're taking it out on us. Okay. That's not right. You're snapping at the waiter or waitress because, you know, something's not right with the meal. Well, they wrote it down correctly but the kitchen goofed up. Don't take it out on your poor waiter or waitress. It's not their fault. They did the correct thing. I've had that myself where we're allergic to dairy and if they put cheese or some kind of sauce on it that we can't do, you know, we can't have, I don't get mad at them. I just say, look, I know the waiter or waitress wrote it down correctly because, you know, I saw them. Your kitchen staff didn't do the right thing. So please just make it over and make it right so that we can eat it and not have any kind of reactions, right? So just go in. We know that everyone has feelings and that, you know, they're not trying to maliciously, you know, disrupt our day or, or not give us what we want, right? Number four, sometimes things just don't work out the way we think they're going to work out. Like in the dental office, sometimes we're doing a tooth and now it's more extensive than what I thought. You know, x-rays are two-dimensional. Unfortunately, we're not. We have length and width and depth and sometimes things just don't heal right or heal the way we expect them to. Sometimes medications that you're on, you know, interfere with stuff. Give us a break, right? Don't think that you know, something went wrong or whatever. Sometimes things just don't work out, but at least give us the opportunity to make things right, right? That's the human thing to do. Be nice, be caring, and know that we're gonna reciprocate towards you. The fifth way that you can spruce up your attitude, especially in the dental office, is expect that it's gonna cost money, right? I would love to do things for free every day. But unfortunately, we don't live in a free society. We live in on an economic planet that wants me to pay rent in exchange for money. I have to exchange money to buy food for my family and a roof over our head. And the only way I can do that is to exchange value, something that you guys want. So in return, you're gonna give me what I want, which is money, right? So that then I can do stuff with my family and my employees who also have families. So, you know, expect that it's gonna cost money, right? Expect that your insurance isn't gonna pay for much because the more and more that we go on, I've been doing this now for almost 20 years, insurance is paying less and less and less and the premiums are going up and up and up. And a lot of my patients aren't even having dental insurance anymore because it's not worth it. They're not getting the, the benefit from it and they're just paying out of pocket. So expect that you're gonna spend some money with us, especially if you want cosmetic work because any type of cosmetic stuff, insurance isn't gonna pay for anyway. So just expect that, hey, I want this and this and this done. You better have some money to back it up. And don't blame us if your insurance doesn't pay for it. We can't control that. All we do is we, we try our best to submit it. We kind of play the games tell them, you know, whatever's going on, word it correctly. But if, you know, when it, when it comes down to it, when your insurance doesn't pay for it, don't be mad at us, not our fault. You're the one that's paying for the insurance. You need to take it up with the insurance company. Why aren't you paying this claim, right? We're having more and more problems with insurance companies not paying for stuff. That's not our fault, that's your insurance. So you need to take the responsibility for it. And more and more, doctors and dentists and everybody in between are stopping 
to be participating in certain insurances because they're slow paying. They don't pay at all. We have to continually go after them to collect the money that's due to us. The red tape that we have to go through, most people don't realize that because we make it easy. You pay your half or your portion and then we take care of the rest. But a lot of people, and I'm almost to that point myself, where I don't wanna deal with insurance anymore because all they do is it's a big hassle and then they deny, 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 and then patients are mad at us and I'm like, I, I have nothing to do with it. They don't listen to us. All I'm doing is I'm a third party and I'm just trying to collect what's due to me. If they don't pay, then it's the patient's responsibility. So I can pay my staff, so I can pay the rent, and so I can continue to give you guys service because if I'm not making any money, then I gotta go and do something else. Right? And most people don't want me to do that because they enjoy our attitude in the office and they know that we're giving them uh, really quality service. Right? So I hope these five things help you to think about it. We're all human. We try the best that we can. It's not our fault about insurance. Expect to, to you know, for it to, to cost money and that it could be uncomfortable for a little bit and just treat us like human beings because that's what we're trying to do for you. We're trying to fix it and get you out of here so you can enjoy your turkey day that's coming up. So that's it for me. Remember to catch us on iTunes and Spotify if you're a podcast person. Also, I've got channels on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Check out the Habit Master channels. Subscribe and follow me so you don't miss anything. That's it for me. Thanks for watching and let's build good habits together. Want more money? Want to get into shape? Want a loving relationship? Okay, so why don't you have these things right now? The answer is habits. Your habitual behavior and thoughts are keeping you stuck right where you are. So how to get past your habits? You've got to open your routine to different thoughts and actions. When you do this, you start to get different results. It really is that simple. But most people don't stick with the changes long enough to benefit from the results. This is where the habit formula comes into place. The habit formula looks at the origin of habits and how they form. Then it takes the next step in showing you how to hang in there long enough to see the results you want. Want to learn more? Go to thehabitformulabook.com and grab your free copy. That's right, it's free! Go to thehabitformulabook.com. Find out how hundreds of other people around the world have used the habit formula to get the results they want. You don't need to be Einstein to figure this out. Go to thehabitformulabook.com today.